it's feeling, it's, it feels like a couple of years, but you've been talking about health care. And we can't give up right now because this is sneaky repeal of the Affordable Care Act. The ACA is here to stay. Hey. hey. Oh. ACA is here to stay. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. ACA is here to stay. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. ACA is here to stay. So let me tell you a little bit about this sneaky repeal of the Affordable Care Act. The first thing is, is all of us know that this piece of legislation, this scam, is designed to add $1.5 trillion to the national deficit. Do we want $1.5 trillion more in debt? No! Say it louder because they can't hear you down at, at Senator No! Tuesday. We all know that this is a Texas two-step. Let's pass this, this tax scam. Let's give tax cuts to the wealthy corporations and wealthy individuals. And then we come back and we make cuts to the most important programs. So we know that that $1.5 trillion is not going to be added to the deficit. Where's that $1.5 trillion going to be coming from? It's going to be coming from Medicaid. It's going to be coming from Medicaid. It's going to be coming from the Children's Health Insurance Program. It's going to be coming from programs that, that we care about and we don't want to see go. So the first reality, the first part of this sneakiness is that, you know, between 700 and 800 billion dollars of these tax cuts are going to come out of the Medicaid program. What does that mean? That means that seniors looking to age gracefully with dignity in their homes are going to be forced in the nursing homes or, or not have the supports and services that they need to keep themselves healthy. Do we want that for our America? No. Do we want that for our communities? No. We know that the Medicaid expansion that's been creating jobs and, and making sure that 700,000 new Pennsylvanians have insurance coverage that they've lacked for decades, that's going to face severe cuts. Wait a minute. Do we want to see cuts to a program that keeps people working? No. We also know that more nearly half of the enrollees in the Medicaid program are children. So when we talk about cutting 700 to 800 billion dollars from health care, we know that the vast majority of those cuts are going to be borne by children. Do we want children to see cuts to their health care? No! Now, you know, the Affordable Care Act has gotten a lot of attention, but the thing, the reason why this is so sneaky is it doesn't just focus in on the ACA and Medicaid. Look. It also goes after Medicare. Very different, very different issues and concerns. I'm finding so, finding so many different different mentality today it seems hard it seems it seems challenging i don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on everything else is a challenge